Hello everyone, this is Prakash from Logoland. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a basic principle of designing related to the printing, but still it is very crucial idea to incorporate in our designing. I am 100% sure maximum designer miss out encapsulating this idea in designing like business card, letter and envelope. So due to which client may have to suffer later on while client go for the printing. So what are these idea and principle I'm right now talking about. So the idea is to define your safe area, trim area and bleed area before you go to start business card and other printing material in Illustrator. So let's not make our client suffer anymore by understanding this principle and incorporating our designing. You are requested to stay with me till end of this video. I'm gonna see you in Illustrator right now. Thank you. Hello everyone. So let's start. So first, uh, let me explain what we are going to learn in this video. So we are going to learn some feature regarding the printed printing actually. So like a safe area, trim area and the bleed area. As a designer, uh, it has been so necessary uh, to have knowledge about these things. Okay, so that we so that we can add these things in our brand guide to the client. So first of all, what we have to do is first we have to set our document uh, uh, for business card okay so let me tell you the what is the standard size of business card actually it is 3.5 inch in width and then the height it's 2 inch okay so I'm going to set this uh, art work I must mention this document into that size what I have to do is I'm going to press shift O to access this artboard tool okay let's set oh but it is here in the pixel i just want it to be uh, replaced with inch unit okay so let's do it it's very simple what you have to do is you have to uh, you have to press ctrl r on your keyboard so you can see uh, the ruler on top and the left side has been highlighted what you have to do is just right click on this uh, you have to check inches that's it okay let's uh, press again shift o to access uh, this uh, artboard tool here we can set in the width we want it to be 3.5 inch and height it's gonna be 2 inch so this is our business standard size business card and standard size actually so so let's see how to define safe area, trim area and bleed area. So after defining those three area, then I will uh, elaborate you the detail and why we do, why do we need actually, what are these area. I'm going to uh, elaborate after uh, defining these area. Okay, you uh, I, uh, I request you to stay with me till end of this video because if you skip this video, so things will not uh, be understood to you okay so be with me till end of this video so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just uh, defining size over here so i'm just getting rid of the fill i just want to have uh, this color actually a straw color so I'm going to take so this is our safe area that's safe safe okay so it's gonna be uh, 3.25 inch by sorry in symbol by 1.75 okay this is the standard size of safety okay now I'm gonna copy one more time so I'm going to define this our trim trim line trim area whatever you want to call you can call it so trim area is same as a standard size of visiting card okay so I'm going to same replace 
So this is gonna be bleed area. Okay, and uh, we have to increase the size up to width will be three point seven five, and the height gonna be two point two five. Okay, so we have defined the area value. Okay, so how to have this area and define over here? So let's do it. So first of all, I'm going to define safe area. Okay, so I'm going to create a rectangle. Create a rectangle, whatever size you want. Right now, just for a vague idea. Now we have to uh, uh, make its size as equal as this one. Okay, so select this one and let's come to here. We need to set its width 3.25. So let's set this to 5. Okay, and the height gonna be 1.75. So 1.75. So this has been now the safe area. Okay, I'm going to change its color so that uh, it could it could be separately identif uh, identical letter on. So I'm going to define it as a Let's add some, I think, big, this kind of color. So, trim area will be as equal as the standard size of a business card. So, I'm going to create. Uh, I have created the rectangle to cover the whole document size. So, in order to uh, make it differently identi identical, so I'm going to apply some different color this one and uh, here I'm going to apply dash line I'm going to decrease its size 6 maybe dash line okay now I'm going to create one more rectangle okay so I don't want it to be dash I just want it to be clean uh, simple straight line so I'm going to switch this off and let's have different color to make it look separately maybe yellow one so now you can see we have already defined the three areas let's understand what are these area how these work so first let's talk about the safe area which is inside document okay why we need to define the safe area this is the area uh, we keep all the important parts of our uh, design like logo text uh, icons extra etc within this line okay like logo dashed icon everything will be confined in, in this area within this area those things should not cross this line okay because because uh, <clears throat> we need to have so we need to uh, when uh, actually what happens when we keep everything inside this so we we are going to have a little margin around all the stuff here equal margin around this so uh, whenever we are going to have an equal amount of margin and a gap so designing looks very appropriate and proportionate and look look and feel goes very well so that's why we keep everything inside this okay and this is our trim area and we also keep everything here because we don't want them to be trimmed out and uh, trimmed out while after getting printed out so we have to make sure everything will come fine in this I mean to say text logo and icons these thing, thing, uh, these things of this type of stuff not background so here let's move to the trim this is the trim area means trim line uh, this is where the artwork will be trimmed after getting printed out this business card so uh, with the help of a uh, machine it will be printed out okay so so we have uh, we have to make sure nothing should be uh, nothing going to touch this line because it going to be cut at this line okay going to be trimmed out at this line so let's talk about the bleed area this is the bleed area which is uh, we uh, which one we have drawn outside of business card standard size bleed bleed area this is the size why do we need to have a bleed area and why we, why uh, i have defined over here 
uh, actually what happens uh, uh, what we have to do is actually we uh, we are creating any design maybe pamphlet maybe business card letter head and envelope so we create many things in designing so this uh, we likely to have all the time background obviously it is natural to have a background in every design so in business card we might have background as well so uh, uh, leaving everything in the center you have to grab your background only and you have to make that background touch to this line okay this bleed line okay why we need to extend the background to the bleed line there's a reason because if we don't define the bleed area and uh, suppose we are extending our background up to here where it gonna be trimmed out so uh, everybody knows uh, the paper on which we are going to get the printing that always uh, remains in the white color okay that gonna be in white color and uh, it will be trimmed out over here the background of vision card must be uh, maybe in white color uh, sorry not in white color maybe blue color uh, maybe green color any multiple uh, multi background we may be retaining on this business card so if we are going to trim that out over here so there are the, there are the chances of getting uh, some white edges because of the paper is in the white color okay if we are going to cut that so uh, while trimming uh, the business card so what happens actually uh, this uh, we never get perfection in trimming out that's why I always get some uh, part from the paper white color that uh, gets left out so we have to make sure that's why this, uh, this bleed area has been defined okay so what you have to do is you just grab the background only and extend to extend up to this bleed area okay now when it's come to trim that out then there will not be any issue we will not uh, run into any problem in cutting okay this is we have to make sure so these are the standard size if you are following along right now uh, right now to me so you can maybe uh, I think the, I recommend you can note down these value from safe area, trim area, bleed area. Okay. One more thing I missed out to do. Actually, uh, this safe area is safe area doesn't seem to be in the center. Let's select this one and uh, select uh, this line. Okay, and click uh, holding the Alt key so that it could be highlight and set to the center. Okay, it should be in the center. Okay, and uh, let me make sure it is also in the center. Okay, now everything is in the center. So this is how we have to set our uh, business card layout and template. I hope you understood everything I just taught you. And uh, I, I know uh, these, these are the things which uh, are not being taught to the student uh, in the institute where they are doing the course after paying so much amount so i hope you found this uh, video very well so that's all for this video i'm gonna see you in my next video where uh, i request you to i request you to see my next video as well because in the next video i'm going to utilize this layout i have been created this layout okay you can call this layout maybe business card template okay i will upload this template in uh, description uh, uh, I will give you the link of uh, this uh, business card template in uh, a description box so, so from where you can download it as well. I hope you can create by own after teaching this. So uh, I hope you understood and in the next video actually what I am going to do is I will utilize this template, this layout to create professional business card and how I am going to utilize. Please watch my next video to learn this. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this video very informative to you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe my channel right now if you didn't subscribe. And do let me know what you have learned from this today's video by commenting in the comment box and also go through my all the video in the same series. I'm gonna see you in the next video of mine with new concept. Thank you. Be safe. Bye.